You're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 1 over a plus 1 over b. This is equal to 1 over 13. So the question is, what is a plus b? And given that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, and that a and b, these are members of, these are real numbers. And also given that a is greater than or equal to b. So these are the four set of conditions that we have. Now let's dive into the solution here. Solution. So we have that 1 over a plus 1 over b. This is equal to 1 over 13. So the now solution here, we have 1 over a plus 1 over b. This is equal to 1 over 13. Now, the, let's multiply both signs by a, b here. By a multiplying by b. So that here, we'll have a over b. A, b divided, a, a, b divided by a plus a, b divided by b. This is equal to a, b over 13. Now, let's simplify here. So this is b plus this is a which is equal to a, b, divided by 13. The next step is to multiply both signs by 13. So that now here, we'll have 13b plus 13a. This is equal to a, b. Now, we can write this as a, b. Let's take 13b and 13a on the right-hand side so that we'll have a, b, subtract 13b subtract 13a now here let's add and subtract 169 this is equal to 0 the next step here we'll have a b subtract 13b subtract 13a plus 169 now we have negative 169 so we take it on the right side and side so this become positive, so positive 169. So here, since b and b is common, we factor out b. So here we'll have a minus 13, subtract. Now here 13a and 169, we can factor out 13. So here we'll have a subtract 13. This is equal to 169. So here we have b minus 13. And we have a minus 13. This is equal to 169. Now, the next step here, let's get the factors of 169. We have 169 times 1. We have 1 times 169. And lastly, we have 13 times 13. Remember that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. And these are also members of real numbers. So let's proceed from here. Now the factors of 169, we have 169 times 1, we have 1 times 169, and 13 times 13. So here we have three cases, where we have case 1, case 1 here, we have b minus 13, a minus 13, this is equal to 169 times 1. So in this case, we'll have B minus 13, which is equal to 169. And we have A minus 13, this is equal to 1. So from here, the value of B is equal to 169 plus 13. And this is equal to 182. Here we have a is equal to 1 plus 13, which is equal to 14. So here we'll have 182 plus 14, and this is equal to 196. So here a plus b, this is equal to 196. So that this is the solution to case 1. Let's proceed to case 2 here. Let's proceed to case 2. Case 2, we have b minus 13. 
Then we have a minus 13. This is equal to 1 times 169. So here we have b minus 13. This is equal to 1. We have a minus 13. This is equal to 169. So here we have that b is equal to, you take negative 13 on the right hand side. So this is 1 plus 13, which is 14. And here we have a is equal to, now we take negative 13 on the right hand side. This is 169 plus 13, which is 182. So that implies that a plus b is equal to 14 plus 182. We have a plus b is equal to 14 plus 182, and this is equal to 196. Now, this is the solution to the second case, that is case 2. Let's move to case 3. Now, case 3 here, we have b minus 13, a minus 13, and this is equal to 13 times... 13. So this implies that b minus 13, this is equal to 13, and a minus 13, this is equal to 13. And therefore here, the value of b is equal to 13 plus 13, and this is equal to 26. Here we have a is equal to 13 plus 13, which is equal to 26. Therefore, a plus b, this is equal to 26, plus 26, and this is equal to 52. Now, that implies that, that implies that 1 over a plus 1 over b, this is equal to 1 over 13. And the solutions here, we have 196. We have 52 and we have 196. Now this is the solution to this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.